Hey everyone, I'm Joe Deganzik and this is Life in the Smarter Home. Today, Apple released the latest version of its mobile operating system, iOS 10. And of course, we're talking about it because, well, it has home automation stuff built right in. HomeKit is Apple's home automation platform and it was significantly upgraded for iOS 10. HomeKit is great because it enables many more people to get into home automation since they don't have to worry as much about whether this thing will work with that thing. In general, look for the works with HomeKit logo and it will probably work with a device that you already own. Apple also added a dedicated home app in iOS 10, a central point for setting up and controlling all of your smart things around your home. Speaking of that, I'm going to take you through the home app. We're going to show you the HomeKit integration into Control Center and make some home automation magic happen. For this demo, this lamp will have a Cree 4 flow bulb just like this one and it will be it will be controlled through a Lutron Casita dimmer. And this lamp has a Philips Hue color changing bulb. And now, on to the demo. Let's start with Control Center, and if you're not sure what that is, it's the swipe up from the bottom. It used to be just one pane of information, now it's three in iOS 10. Your device info, swipe left, your music, swipe left again, and then all of your home automation gadgets and gizmos from HomeKit. You get the first nine of your accessories or products in this view, or the first eight of your scenes. And these are ordered in the way that you were kind of set them up in the home app. More on that in a moment. This is live information. There are live tiles telling you things like temperature and humidity and what your air conditioning is set to, the status of your lights and percentages. Really cool stuff. And to change them, uh, change these, you just tap, turn off a light, turn it back on. To change its dimming settings, you can just long press hold and uh, then you can change your dimming level so you could change your temperature on a thermostat uh, change draperies locks uh, and um, and more uh, the attributes that you can change change per device so pretty easy to find uh, and great info um, and great settings that you can adjust right from control center um, from the lock screen or from the home screen. Speaking of home, let's go to the app right now through, you could get there any way you want. Um, I'm just gonna tap the little icon at the top of the control center screen. And here's Apple's brand new home app included with iOS 10. Kind of gives you an overview of your home. It's, it is made up of three tabs across the bottom, home, rooms, which give you the ability to group items into individual rooms and set a background photo and whatnot, um, and obviously then control that room entirely with a Siri command. And then automation for all the magic of home automation based on triggers for time, geolocation, sensors, and all of that cool stuff that happens behind the scenes when you set it up right. So let's just uh, kind of adjust this a little bit and let's uh, hit edit and I'm going to go in here and just take a photo and change my background a little bit. Not super important, but I thought that might be nice. We'll take that and use photo and kind of move that around and set it up. So you can customize that if you would like to your heart's content. Change the name of your place and whatnot. And again, it gives you the overview, kind of what's going on around your home. And then here's all of your scenes that you've defined as favorite scenes. You can go into each one and actually turn that on or off. And then again, eight go into the um, control center. Here's all my accessories. I can turn these on or off if I literally go in and uh, long press it and then hit details. You can see I can say include in favorites or not and it will disappear or reappear in this list. And the top nine of these go into control center. They act as just as I demoed in control center so no need to do that again. I don't like the order though so let me hit the edit button. I'm going to drag this guy kind of like I would drag just regular icons up to the top of the list. So let's pretend now that I am away from home and we're going to set up a scene. If I had, um, I'm going to hit the plus sign to add a new scene. If I had a new accessory or product to add, I might have to work through the manufacturer's app first or the home app or a combination of the two. Read the instructions that came that come with it. We've got some videos that show that pairing process. We'll link to that. But anyways, I'm going to add a scene and I'm just going to say custom because I don't like what they're suggesting. And I'm going to say that this is away serene. 
and let's add some items. It's sorted by the rooms in your place. I'm going to say add all from the sofa table room or group and then I'm going to hit done. So here they are. I don't want this lamp on. This is the Lutron. So I'm going to just turn it off. I wish it showed this in real time. It doesn't on the scene builder. I'm sure this is a bug that Apple will fix. I'm going to long press on the Phillips. I'm going to bring it up to about 70% or so and I'm going to change the color. I'm going to go ahead to the color wheel but I could also use color temperature if I wanted white light and adjust it from warm to cool. Uh, but let's go to color temperature. Be <laughs> really cool. Make it blue and I'm going to hit done and I'm just going to tap away and let's test it. Let's see if this looks like what I want it to look like. That's off. That's nice and blue. That's kind of my serene mode that I want when I'm away, just bathe the whole room in blue. All this looks good. I'm going to hit done and now it's in my scenes. So now we're going to pretend I'm away and I'm coming home. We're going to add some automation. So let's go to the automation tab and I can use my front door which has a open closed sensor on it to detect I'm coming home. I'm literally opening the front door and I want lights to turn on. I set up a scene for this already so I'll show you that right now. Um, I could do it based on multiple things, time, I could do it on location, I could do it on other sensors that I don't have, and anyways, um, let's go into accessory that is controlled. So scroll down to the living room, there's my front door, tap next. When the living room front door opens, next. I could set a scene. I could also set uh, direct attributes of individual devices, but I already set up a scene before I started the video called Return Home. So I'm going to check mark that one. I'm going to hit next. Um, I could say only after sunset to save energy during the day, but for this demo, we're just not going to check that. And I'm going to say done. All that looks good. So now let's test it. Let's go to the other camera angle. I'm going to open the door. We're going to see if this actually comes um, to full brightness and see what happens. Let's give this a shot. Open the door just a little bit and bingo, there go the lights to full brightness and I can shut the door and now of course I'm home, I'm quote unquote home and here we are. That is some really, really, really basic information, a basic overview of the Home app and the new HomeKit stuff in iOS 10. We're going to have more episodes coming up about HomeKit. We've got more products to review and unbox and so forth. So stay tuned for more detailed information on HomeKit now and also what they've changed in watchOS 3 for the Apple Watch. And that's the end of this episode of Smarter Home Life. If you like the episode, please give it a thumbs up. Maybe write a comment or write me an email if you have questions. Questions at SmarterHomeLife.com. Of course, please subscribe to the channel right here on YouTube. And if you'd like to see me create more of this content, more cool stuff on into the future, please think about becoming a contributor to the show directly right on Patreon.com slash SmarterHomeLife. A little bit goes a long way way and we'll love you for it forever. I am Joe Deganzik. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.